Have you been considering a summer vacation hmm, in Spain? Sun, sea, sand, cheap booze. Well... You might want to think again, if you've been reading some of these sensationist headlines in the likes of the Tory Graph, the Daily Express, the Daily File, and the CBBS, you know, our GB Not News. Well, actually, they say they're not news themselves. Well, you see, these headlines, they, well, they tell us that the Spanish locals... Don't want us tourists. No. They say tourists go home. Brits go home. Because they're not happy. But you see, they are sensationalist headlines. Because it isn't, well, honest. No. There are problems. And there have been some protests. But mainly by one individual called Danny Drunko. Or whatever the man or woman or whoever it is. But anyway, Danny Drunko was evicted from their property. Mm, well, told to vacate it because the property is going to be converted into apartments for tourism, Airbnb. Well, you see, tourism is pushing up the prices of property. Even after the Brits have been selling on their... You know, the British expats, all oh, I mean immigrants, after they've been selling their homes in Spain, moving back to the UK or moving elsewhere. Well, you see, there is not enough properties in Spain. The government it says, itself says that they've got a deficit of one and a half million homes in Spain. See, locals, what have you, the Spanish nationals, they can't afford to live. No, you get individuals like this. How to put it? Uh, arrogant person. <laughs> can I be politi- can I be cl- politically correct here? This person, okay. <laughs> she, she says Spain forgets it's a poor country. Hmm. Without tourists, they will have nothing to sell. Another road. Hmm. That. Well, a poor country. It ranked 15th in the list of countries by GDP, that's correct. Just behind uh, South uh, Korea and Australia. Remember, Australia is only a relatively small country of 20 million odd people. <laughs> this is just, these are typical comments. Oh, we'll spend our money elsewhere. We won't go to Spain then. No, we going to try and charge us £97 uh, a day. Well, not actually, no. We just want to make sure that you can prove that you've got £97 quid a day to be able to um, visit Spain. Yes, there is the uh, charge for those in accommodation. It's going to be added to your rental accommodation, your apartments or whatever. Well, it's about, I can't remember how much it is now. I think it's about six or seven euros a day. There's all these additional costs, but they're not just aimed at us Brits. No. It's a superiority complex. The gang will be thinking we're so special. <laughs> There's all about us. It's, I say Brits. I say mainly the English. Are we just narcissists? That's what it feels like to me. I'm crikey. We have got this superiority complex. We think we're better than everybody else. I know we'll build whopping great flipping aircraft carriers. Say we've got status in the world, but we haven't got no people to flip them, man them. We haven't even got the munitions to put in them. We rely on other countries to provide the flipping aeroplanes. Well, what? It's like your aircraft carries a syndicate. <laughs> Makes no sense. None of it does. You see, if you're in a similar situation as the Spanish people, you're going to be kicking off as well. When you say all your property has been bought up by corporations and, and individuals, actually quite a few Dutch, actually, quite a few Belgium, yeah, have been buying properties in Spain, but also Russians and um, Chinese and what have you as well. They see them as investments. The problem is the money gets sucked out of those individual countries. It doesn't stay there. Oh, it increases trade. And that, who owns all the bars? You know, they've been gobbled up as well. All the little old bars. I don't know, for instance, in the Costa of Solo, you know, there's not that many uh, British bars anymore. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Crikey. Since all the British expats, all oh, I mean immigrants, have been leaving. Not all, obviously. 
That's some. I find this really embarrassing. I'll be honest with you. I do find it really embarrassing. I hope people don't think I'm like that, you know? Because what others do, how others behave, reflects on everybody. And it's, I uh, had to put a bit frustrating, to be honest. So this person says, simply don't go uh, to Spain and spend your money in the UK. Have you seen the price of property? Yeah, rental property and holiday accommodation in the United Kingdom is more than Spain. The UK is incredibly expensive now. Even a flipping caravan is going to cost you at least two and a half grand. For a haven holiday. It's nuts. I can remember getting haven holiday caravans with kids and stuff like that. I don't know, three or four hundred quid. You know? You get done with thousands now. Another said, hey, this is since Brexit. They don't like us. No, they won't get rid of us. Well, Brexit does play a part, you know. They can do what they like now to us Brits. They can say what they like to us. They can, they can say, we don't want you here. No, they've had enough. But you see, this is not just about people coming on the aeroplanes, those who come on these cruise ships as well. A few years back, there was protests in Barcelona when the cruise ships are coming in because it's exactly the same problem. Pushing the property prices up makes it unaffordable for their children. For, you know, people who live there, their home. Well, it's like an invasion. Oh dear, who said that, I wonder? Oh, is it? Oh, crikey, was it Home Secretary? Maybe. <laughs> so yes, never said, since Brexit, nobody going into Spain is generally asked. Uh, I have heard that a few people landing in Gibraltar and crossing into Spain have been asked uh, a credit card and return flight details would be su sufficient. You see, regarding the rules, not everywhere is not fully in place yet. Just like these new, um, oh, not, not, fight with sanitary humans, you know, the, <laughs> the fingerprints and stuff. <laughs> okay, it's not fight with sanitary. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, when that all comes into full play, it's supposed to be coming in, in force uh, sometime this year. I think in August, is it August, September sort of time? And they haven't even got the app in place yet. So they're, they're going to be scrambling to get all these flipping biometrics. It's going to be a nightmare. No, because it's going to be all run by this app, you see. That, is, that isn't ready. No. So these tensions are brewing, are brewing across Spain, but not to the degree that you will be reading in the papers. There are problems. The locals are kicking off. They've had enough. But it isn't everywhere, and it isn't everyone. If you go to, for instance, decide not to go to the hotspots, as in, I don't, know, don't go to Barcelona, for instance, go somewhere else, you know. Sod the flip. I'll, t I'll let you know now. The Sagrada uh, Familia, it, it, it's not worth. A, no, it looks like shit, all right? It looks like, it looks like an afterthought. That bit was slapped all over the place. It's an awful building. Okay, that, I, I'm just gaudy and all that, but it's not my, that was not my cup of tea. No. I think it looked like shit. Anyway, so <laughs> there are other places in Spain you can go to, um, the Basque regions and what have you. <laughs> okay, it might not be a beaches up that way, but I don't know. But um, <laughs> yeah, but there are, other, there are other places that you can head that are cooler for a start because Spain is getting ridiculously hot. In fact, some uh, hotels are not allowed to top up or fill up their swimming pools. So, you know, if you book a holiday, package holiday, what have you, uh, well, then you might come a cropper with that one, mightn't you? If, for instance, you've gone because it's got a swimming pool, it might not be usable, it might be closed. Yeah, because there's a lack of water. It's very, very dry and arid um, during the summer months. It's, they've got a lack of water now. They've got water shortages now in Spain. So it is a considerable worry, obviously, for the locals, okay? Because the Brits come over. Or, or, oh, sorry, I did it. I did it. I did, Brits, I mean, tourists come over to Spain, what have you, and I just use as much water as I possibly can for everything. <laughs> you know, there'll be people looking like, I'm not even allowed to wash my car, and you're just spraying around everywhere. I'm not even, we haven't got enough to drink. Water, water everywhere, not enough to drink. Not a drop to drink. Well, how's it go? Anyway, it's time for me to go. I just think this is getting ridiculous. I'm just, I'm reading it. Birmingham Live, GB News. Oh, crikey. Um, I was like saying all the other ones as well. 17 million visitors is a lot is a lot of money to the Spanish economy. It's all that sort of stuff. It's like, yeah, well, you need us. Well, I'll tell you what didn't happen. Uh, 
when we said when the, we we said oh well, I didn't say that the Brexiters said oh well you know uh, the, the car industry German car industry needs us you said they come to the rescue no it doesn't work like that because people are stupid and all these comments I'm reading here are crikey they forgot how much tourism contributed to the economy. It doesn't actually contribute to the economy if it's getting sucked out of the country. You need to hold it in the country. At least a vast majority of it, but no. It's getting sucked out. Imported beers, imported wine, imported this, imported that. All the money's going out. Mm. Okay, Spanish wines. You play good Spanish wines, though. They really are. It's all that sun, you see. Well. Well, have you seen any animosity? <laughs> have you been in Spain? Have you witnessed any animosity towards yourself by the, the locals? And possibly the, uh, oh, the police. Quite possible. There's a lot of reports regarding the police uh, being racist, apparently. They've been racist to us because we're special. That's French. <laughs> anyway, have a lovely weekend. I hope you have. A smashing time. Hopefully the weather's going to be nice. It's supposed to be quite nice here this weekend, here in France. So, um, yeah, I, I wish the same for you. Anyway, have a lovely weekend. And if you want to join us on Sunday at 8.30pm, we go live. Yes, we're going live this Sunday. So, and yeah. And thanks for all the support and everybody who's been sticking with us. So, I think they'll like button and maybe subscribe to the channel and maybe the little bell icon because then you get more first thing in your pocket every time I upload another video. Well, I say to you, you know, Mrs. Wonder Where I Gone. <laughs>